We have a voicemail number and that number is two one nine two David P. Here is a voicemail from someone who caught the show on our broadcast uh, affiliate of free speech TV. Now, many some of you may know, some of you may not. Our show is on nightly on satellite television. That's direct TV and dish network. Uh, the channel is called Free Speech TV on Direct TV. I believe it's channel 348. I hope they haven't changed the channel lineup. I think it's 348 on Dish Network. It's channel again. I hope it hasn't changed. Nine four one five. Here is a viewer who caught us on Free Speech TV, and he doesn't believe the name Free Speech TV for the channel is appropriate. Take a listen to this. Buckle in. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure I got the right line. I'm, I've got a message for you that I'm still working on. I'm writing off. This is a draft message. Bear that in mind. A lot of information down about your, your network and why you call yourself Free Speech TV. I don't understand that. Mm. <laughs> you people sound like a bunch of socialist communist idiots. <laughs> is that it? Still on the phone. Hmm, background noise. Sir, please hang up. OK, um, you know, this continues to be a funny thing. I am criticized daily, both because one, we have sponsors and this is how, you know, I fund my life and how my employees are paid. The fact that the show makes money so I'm told the show the show is too capitalist. It's too capitalist to show because it, it, it makes it's financially sustainable. And this is a socialist or communist show. Now, of course, anyone who watches would know really the perspective of this program is social democracy, which is a regulated form of capitalism. We allow markets to direct resources within many areas, but we say in certain areas we should be out of the market, health care, education. OK, you guys, you guys get it. You guys get it. Um, but it, it, it really is fascinating to daily be criticized for being too capitalist of a show and too communistic of a show. I don't expect that to change anytime soon. We have such a great bonus show for you today. Nancy Pelosi is running for reelection. And there are people writing in saying, David, uh, she's in her 80s. It's it's that's it. It's time to go. We need a younger speaker of the House or whatever the case may be. I have some people emailing me saying, David, Nancy Pelosi has an opponent, but her opponent has been accused of sexual harassment. So I'm mixed. Like, should I support or not? I'm not really sure. A lot of questions when it comes to the Nancy Pelosi reelection, which we will be talking about on the bonus show. Secondly, the FDA has stopped the use of a particular monoclonal antibody treatment for covid because it doesn't seem effective against Omicron. And Florida is pushing back, saying now nah, we want to use it anyway. And uh, Ron DeSantis sort of doesn't seem to understand how simple math works in his defense of that type of monoclonal antibody. We will talk about that. And we do have Olympics coming to China. And ahead of the Olympics, there are some abrupt and uh, very uh, harsh lockdowns looming in Beijing, which we will discuss on today's bonus show. Should there even be Olympics going on? We will talk about all of it on today's bonus show. Get instant access by becoming a member at joinpacman.com. And this Saturday, we will have a correspondent doing interviews of Trumpists live at the Trump rally in Conroe, Texas. I hope you will join me at 6 p. East, 3 p. West uh, on YouTube. And now I'm trying to, on YouTube, Twitch and Facebook. We will be live in Conroe, Texas with a correspondent and then have the Trump rally and the entire thing. But for today, make sure you sign up at joinpacman.com and get instant access to today's bonus show. I will see you then.